How's it going guys? Back again with another video. Now today I'm going to discuss how to achieve a healthy lifestyle and stick to it. Okay? If you're already following a strict diet plan, if you're already following a strict training program, this may not be for you, but keep watching because you may learn something. And by the way, I have no pre-written script. You know, it's just me sitting down, talk to the camera, talk to you guys, so I apologize if there's some word stumbles or whatever the case may be. Now, how to achieve a healthy lifestyle is stick to it. What I've done and what other people have done and what I think is the wrong way of going about it is trying to change everything at once. A lot of people think, oh yeah, I want to get into shape for next summer, I want to do whatever the case may be, and... They try to change everything at once and I think this is the total wrong way of going about it. Reason being that you are changing everything about your lifestyle at once and you are trying to fight all these different cravings when it comes to diet and you know, you're trying to fight the tiredness and training all the time and you know, chopping and changing your life around so you can afford to do all these different types of things. A lot of people tell me, I want to get in shape, how do I do it? And the first thing I tell them to do, and the only thing that I really tell people to do, okay, and what I 100% believe in, is that you change one thing at a time. For example, if you do not do any source of exercise, okay, any type of exercise, and you're obese, you're overweight, you know, just out of shape completely, First thing that you should try to do is to get a 10 minute walk in a day, okay? Now dedicate yourself to having a 10 minute walk a day, okay? Go off, do it, do this for 2 to 3, 4 weeks, however long it takes for it to become part of your life, to have a 10 minute walk a day. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. So many people say I don't have time to go to the gym. You don't need to go to the gym to be fit. You don't need to go to the gym to be healthy. All you need to do is just go for a walk. And if you want to work out, do push-ups, do squats, do body weight shit at home because you can. Okay? Now, about your diet, do not try to go off and change everything about your diet at once. Okay? What you need to do is you need to focus on one thing. Let's say you get three takeaways a week. Okay? Three takeaways a week. What you want to do over the space of three weeks is to limit that down to three takeaways, to two takeaways, to one takeaway, to zero takeaways. Once you reach that zero takeaway mark, okay, what you're going to do is you're going to try stick to it. And you're going to stick to this. You're going to keep doing everything the way you used to. And you're going to stick to this. And you're going to keep doing it for Three, four, five, however many weeks it takes for you to overcome those cravings. And once you overcome those cravings, it becomes part of your lifestyle, okay? Now what you're going to do is, you're going to change something about your diet, something about your training regime, and you're going to try to do this every time you break a craving. Add a new thing, add a new thing. Keep doing it, and then eventually what you realize is, your training, okay, We'll say you get a 45 minute training session in a week, okay, and you're eating healthy. And what's going to happen is when you look at yourself in the mirror or you check the weighing scales every single day, you're going to notice a difference. And when you notice the difference is when your mind says, fuck it, I love it, it's going to become an addiction, okay? Because it does become an addiction because you get endorphins, you look better, you feel better. Overall, you are disciplined when it comes to health and fitness. Now, this video is going to be short, but what the main point is, is not to go off and try to change everything at once, because you will fail. And you know what? Even changing one thing at a time, you may fail, but at least you failed at one thing. And when you fail at one thing, it's a hell of a lot easier to get on the bandwagon again and do it all over again, instead of doing... Oh, I failed my entire diet, and you're trying to get back on the wagon for your entire diet. You are focusing on one thing, and once that one thing is completely craved gone, okay, you are adding another, and then another, and then another, and eventually you'll realize that all the cravings are gone, you'll successfully stick to a diet, and you know what? Then, when you're used to not having cravings for, you know, sweets, junk food, alcohol, all that type of stuff, it will become a hell of a lot easier to stick to a diet that you get off a of PT for 150 or whatever route you decide to go down. Now, another thing is 
that when you go off and how to get back up from that bandwagon, okay? Let's say you've overcome your junk food, overcome your alcohol, you fall off, okay? You're gonna feel shit. And you're gonna feel like, I don't know if I could do it again because it hurts. It really hurts because you take that, oh, I fucked up one day, I'm gonna gain weight automatically all over again. And it's all gotta be a repetitive cycle. You're wrong. One day of bad eating is not gonna fuck up you for the rest of your life, okay? The reason that you may be obese, or the reason that bodybuilders are in great shape, or, you know, physique competitors, or whatever the case may be, is because they do... Ded they have dedication and they're like stuck to this regime. It's an addiction for them. They do this over and over again. Okay. Now you need to really stick to what you want to do. And stick to one thing. And I promise you if you stick to that one thing you will change. Your body will change. You will feel better. Everything will be better. I promise you this. Okay. And then... You know, once you're used to the whole 10, 15, 20 minute walk, then you may consider doing some weight training. Or, you know, even if you're going straight into weight training, then you may progress into a 45 minute training regime a day. But you need to change one thing. Now, what I ask is, if you're going to go off and you're going to do this one thing, make sure that this is what you want. Because if you make up your mind and you realize that two, three weeks down the line, that this is not what you want. It's going to be a complete fuck up. Decide and sit down and really think about that one thing you want to change. And I promise you that once you overcome that craving. Or once you take on whatever the fuck you want to take on. You will feel so much better. Now I know this video was short. But if you liked it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel because there's plenty more videos to come. And don't forget I'm also on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook and Twitter. So don't forget... To follow me on those social media outlets also. And if there's anything you want to see in upcoming videos. Don't be afraid to send me a message. And until next time. Stay healthy. Stay awesome. Stay dedicated. And most of all. Let's become the strongest version of ourselves. Peace.